Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga. It is a pleasure to have you join me today. Thanks so much for choosing the channel and joining me on your mat. We are going to do a full body. We're going to get some abs. We're going to get from head to toe and just get you feeling super good. That's my goal. Um, so hopefully I can accomplish that um, by the end of the session. So water handy if you need it. Um, we're going to start standing up today. So finding a spot at the top of your mat and just stand nice and tall. And let's just rock forward and back on those feet, feeling the soles of the feet against the earth, noticing how the toes are feeling, the arches of your feet are feeling, how your legs are feeling. And let's stay nice and tall, soles of the feet against the earth. Lift those toes and press the balls of the feet into the mat. Spread your toes if you can, as much as you can. Uh, waking up those feet, noticing how that affects the legs as well. Breathe. Keep that space between those toes and then slowly place pinky toes to the mat. It helps if you work with your fingers. Second toe, place it down. Middle toe fourth toe, and then all ten toes, firmly plant those feet into the earth, standing nice and tall, inhale, reach to the sky, oh, soften those shoulders, bring your palms to face towards one another, close your eyes for just a moment, just aware, aware of that beautiful body. Gently open your eyes and let's slowly transition some weight forward as we lift those heels, coming up nice and tall. Waking up the ankles, saying hello to those core muscles. Staying high on the balls of the feet, slowly transition those hands down to heart center. And then gently release the heels back down towards the earth. Shift your weight to your heels. Core is strong, and we begin to sit it back to chair. Now, those knees are not touching as those toes are not touching. Our weight is in our heels, so we can lift all of those toes. Chest is lifted. Find your breath. Inhale, rise. Reach to the sky. Keep those palms gently glued and arch it back. Little space between those fingers. Inhaling it up nice and tall, weight shifts back into those heels, pull those hands to heart center, we sit to chair. Find a focal point out in front of you and slowly shift your weight forward, lifting those heels once again, coming up to the balls of the feet and the toes. Our balanced chair, waking up those legs, strong through the core, slowly releasing those heels back down, extending the legs, hinging forward, arms sweep back to flight, to airplane. Rolling those shoulders back, palms facing the ground, spread your fingers wide. Breathe, nice stretch down the backs of the legs, waking up that lower back, rotating palms to the sky, big circle of those arms up and over, and exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Uh, and just let that upper body hang. Let's heel through those feet open just a little bit wider than your hips. And bring the hands to the elbows. Hold on. All oh, that gentle pull. That great stretch down the backs of the legs. And let's just gently sway side to side. Checking in. Our little inversions. Drawing that freshly oxygenated blood down to the brain. Mm. Coming back to center, release your arms. Let's softly bend those knees just a little bit. Mm. Getting into that lower back. And then as you exhale, extend those legs once again. As you inhale, a little deeper bend. Bring the palms to the mat. And then exhale, extend those legs. Let's do that once more. Inhale, a little deeper bend. Maybe that bottom comes down to about knee height, leveling out. Nice flat back, crown of the head pointing straight ahead, tailbone pointing straight back. And then as you exhale, extend those legs. And let's roll it up one vertebra at a time. 
Standing tall, rolling those shoulders up and back. Shoulders slide down and away. Let's do that again. Big shoulder roll up and back. Shoulders slide down and away. And we step together once again to the top of the mat to mountain. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk, step, or hop to high plank. We're going to hold our plank. And we're going to alternate drawing our knees in towards the chest, pulling that right knee in and stepping it back. Left knee pulls in and step it back. So as we alternate, we're hollowing out through the chest just a bit, creating space between those shoulder blades, drawing that belly button in and up, finding that breath and slowing it down. One more time each side. Meeting back in plank, lift those hips to down dog, firing up those core muscles a little bit. Yes, indeed. And let's alternate bending knees, walk it out. As you exhale, let both heels sink. We shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot through. Back knee down if you like, otherwise knee is off. And we lift those arms, coming to our crescent lunge. Inhale, straightening that front leg a little bit. And then exhale, sink. Again, inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink, pulling the hands to heart center. We turn and place that right elbow to the left knee, pressing against the knee and working to bring the hands towards heart center. Find your breath. Opening those arms if you like. Back of that right arm pressing against the outside of the knee. Left arm extending and reaching towards the sky. Once again, we pull those hands to heart center. We turn it back to face front. Extending those arms overhead. And as you exhale, arch it back. Open those arms to a nice wide V. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Exhale, flow forward, hands on either side of your foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend left leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. We inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. Shifting your weight to your left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot through. Back knee down if you like, otherwise knee is off. Arms circle up and overhead. Crescent lunge. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little. And then exhale, sink. Pulling the hands to heart center, we rotate, placing that left elbow to the right knee. Working to bring those hands towards heart center. Find your breath. Opening those arms if you like. Back of that left arm, pressing against the outside of that right knee. Lengthening and reaching through those right fingertips. Find your breath. We pull those hands back to heart center, turning back to face front, extending those arms to the sky, and exhale, arch it back. Open those arms to a nice wide V. Inhaling it up tall, flow forward, hands on either side of your foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend right leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. We inhale it to high plank, holding your plank. Breathe. We're going to walk those feet in, bending the knees, coming into a little bear, finding that breath, our hovering tabletop. Now we're going to step it back to plank. Step it in to hovering tabletop or bear and step it back. Again, other side, step it in. Firing up those quadriceps, those shoulders, those core muscles. Step it back to plank. One more time. Other foot leads in. And step it back. Lift your hips to down dog. And sway those hips side to side. Finding that breath.
Coming back to center, taking the gaze between your hands, walk, step, or hop to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale, reverse one dive up. And as you exhale, take a giant step. Open up those legs. Toes turn out. Pulling the hands to heart center. And we're going to alternate bending knees. Keeping that core strong. Uh, we bend that left knee. And come back to center. Bending that right knee. Little tip forward through those hips. Nothing major. Just shooting that bottom back. Feeling that nice stretch to the ankles, to the inner thighs. Breathe. Let's do one more each side. Ah, yes. Firing up those legs. Coming back to center. Extend those arms out to a T. Core strong, hinge it forward. Release your hands. And let's walk those hands to the left. As far as you can walk your hands, reaching that right hand out as far as you can. And draw your nose towards that left knee. Inhale, lift just slightly, pull that right hand back to center. We rotate our body and extend, left arm to the sky, reach it up, just as high as you can reach. Circling that left arm around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back. If you can find that right thigh, hold on to it. Anchor that arm and see if you can rotate even more. We once again release that left arm. Slowly release that left hand down, and let's walk those hands to the right. As far as you can walk those hands, we take that left hand and extend it. Reach it out. Feel that amazing stretch all the way down that left side, drawing your nose towards your knee. Noticing how the body responds, what muscles are activated to help keep you balanced and steady. The beautiful stretches that are going on. Inhale, lift just slightly, pulling that left hand underneath you. Rotate your body and extend. Right arm to the sky. Reach it up. Just as high as you can reach. Circling that right arm around behind your back. Forearm along the small of the back. If you can find that left thigh, hold on to it. Anchor that arm. And use that arm to help kind of guide that shoulder back even more for a deeper rotation. Once again, extending that right arm to the sky. As you exhale, slowly release it down. We're going to heel toe those feet in once. Just a little narrower stance. And those toes remain turned out. Release the weight of the upper body down. Take your left hand, cross it over to the right leg. And then left hand to the, I'm sorry, right hand to the left leg. And then use the strength of those arms to pull upper body towards the space between your legs. Releasing the intensity, take that left hand, uncross it, and then cross it in front. So we've just switched which arm is in front now. And then once again, use the strength of the arms to pull that upper body towards that space between the legs. So with those crisscross arms, a little stretch in that upper back between those shoulder blades. I gently release the arms, just let them hang. Find your breath. And let's roll it up, one vertebra at a time, all the way up. Big shoulder roll at the top, shoulders slide down and away. And let's turn and step back to the top of the mat, to mountain. Inhale, reach, and exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk, step, or hop to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And sit it back to child's pose. Arms out nice and long. Find your breath. And let's slowly walk the hands up. We're going to come up to a kneeling position, nice and tall on those knees, rolling those shoulders up and back. Inhale, reach to the sky, and as you exhale, spread your fingers wide, pull those elbows back, open that chest. 
Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, pull. Pressing those hips forward just a bit. Inhale, reach. And exhale, pull. Inhale, reach to the sky. And then slowly sit your bottom back down towards the heels. Relax your arms. Breathe a little stretch for those quadriceps, making sure that the knee is happy. If you need to put a um, blanket or a bolster or anything between your heels and your bum, please do so. And let's walk those hands forward to tabletop. We shift our weight to our left hand. Right arm extends to the sky. Reach it up. And as you exhale, sweep that right hand through. Shoulder to the mat. Side of the head to the mat. We rotate our body and extend. Left arm to the sky, reaching it up. Just as high as you can reach. As you exhale, release that left hand down, pressing it back up to tabletop. Breathe. And we shift our weight to our right hand. Left arm extends to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left hand through, shoulder to the mat, side of the head to the mat. Rotate your body and extend. Right arm to the sky. Reach it up just as high as you can reach. A variation of our thread, the needle. Exhaling and releasing that right hand down, pressing it back up to tabletop. And let's come over onto one hip. Sweep your feet around and slide on down towards the top of your mat. Extending the legs out long, flex your feet. Reach to the sky and exhale, hinge it forward. Release your hands. And relax the weight of your head. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Release your hands. Let's cross that left foot just up and over the right knee. And we're going to pull the knees in. And we're just going to roll the ankle. Uh, so making sure that that ankle has plenty of room to roll. And then we're going to point and flex our foot. Mm. A little squinch of those toes, just waking up those feet. They do so much work for us. Just kind of free flow, whatever feels good. Getting that nice stretch for that left hip at the same time. Okay, now soften that foot. Find your breath. Sit up nice and tall. And let's gently extend that right leg. And we're going to switch. So extending the left, crossing that right foot just up and over that left knee. And then pull those knees in so we get that really nice stretch for that right hip. Good. And we're just going to roll the ankle both directions. Mm, giving a little love to the ankles and the feet. So switching up the directions whenever you're ready, making sure that you still have a neck that we haven't sunk in, really promoting that good posture. And then we're going to point and flex the feet, making sure that that ankle has plenty of room to move. And then we're just going to squeeze those toes, kind of squinch the toes a little bit, wiggle the toes a little bit, get that blood flowing all throughout the toes and the feet. Mm, how's that right hip? My hip needs it. Good. Now soften that foot. Sit up nice and tall. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Draw that belly and chest towards your leg. Deepening that stretch for that right hip. And then let's go ahead and slide that left leg out. And we're going to bring the soles of the feet together, coming into butterfly. Pulling the heels in nice and tight. Interlacing your fingers, sliding those hands underneath the outside edge of your foot, and then roll those shoulders back, sitting up nice and tall. Find your breath. A little tuck of your chin down towards your chest. Mm, stretching all the way down the back of the body. And we lift our gaze and then begin to hinge it forward, lengthening through the crown of the head. As you pull yourself forward, oh my goodness, beautiful stretch in the hips. And slowly we rise. Release your hands and cross those legs to easy pose. And we're going to bring our hands down by our sides. And we're going to come either 
flat hands or you can kind of be up on your fingertips. So depending upon how long your arms are in comparison to your torso, this is going to kind of be a little bit of a challenge. So if you have a super long torso, shorter arms, it's going to be a real challenge. You can even come up onto your fists if you like, but I'm going to be up kind of on the um, heel of my hand or the ball of my hand, I would say, um, just kind of just below your fingertips because my arms are a little bit shorter than my torso. So this is always a good challenge for me. We're going to press those hands into the mat and work to lift. Can you lift your bum? Can you lift your feet? And lower back down. Again, plant those hands. Again, flat hands or wherever you need to be. You can even use blocks. So if you have blocks handy and we press and lift, hollowing out the tummy and chest. Can you lift? How much can you lift and release? Good job. We're going to do that one more time. Really firing up the core muscles. You're going to feel that hollowness, feeling that strength in your arms. Ready, set. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, lift, breathe. How much can you lift? And release. Nice job. Inhale, reach to the sky. Interlace those fingers. Oh, stretch those hands. And as you exhale, lean to the left. Breathe, long stretch down that right side. Inhale it up and exhale a little lean to the right. And up, pull those hands through heart center. Gently close your eyes, tuck your chin. You can keep those hands at heart center or gently place the backs of the hands to the tops of the knees. Palms open to the sky if you like. Gently touch your index finger and your thumb. Mm. Close your eyes. Find your breath. Feeling healthy and strong. Calm. And energized all at the same time. Take a moment with a grateful heart to celebrate the movements of today, the breath of today, the being present, feeling grounded, centered. For these moments when we are focused on our well being. Time for ourselves to re-energize. When we deplete our energies, we need to find a safe, healthy way to replenish them. I know time on my mat for me helps to do that. I hope it does the same for you. With that quiet mind, a grateful heart, a smile on our face, we know that anything and everything is possible. Let's gently open those eyes. Take a big breath in. Reach to the sky. And exhale. Pull the hands to heart center. And I want to thank you for joining me, for tuning in today, for choosing to spend some time with me and allowing me to spend some time with you. Really is, you guys, a great, great gift for me. Thank you for including me in your day. Take care of yourselves. Be well. Light and love always. And until the next time, namaste.